So I just got a haircut. I'm out here at Hobby Lobby. I don't know if you can see. Now, I got the black for the airbrush. And I also got this plum purple pearl. This is the exact same color as my purple E34. So I'm gonna experiment and see what that looks like. And then I've got all these. I'm thinking the best is gonna be the white and the black and this purple so we'll see which color I end up doing the interior I just wanted to update you guys that's where I'm at now I gotta go run home and run my eight appointments for the day let's get it what's up guys welcome back to another video I know I haven't really been uploading uploading a whole lot lately but just been so busy at work and trying to stay focused that way I when I get in you know the real swing of things uh, then things will start moving pretty fast, especially with these projects. Right now I'm making good money, my bills are getting paid, but it's like, you know, you get in what you put, or you get out what you put in with a lot of things in life. This is one of those things that I know if I put a lot in, I'm going to get a lot out and help a lot of people as well. So I've been really focused on that, but I've got it to where I'm getting systematic and smooth, so... I'm close to where I will be able to relax a little bit. But it is Friday, so I'm getting some stuff done on the cars and hopefully some more stuff done this weekend. You can see I was able to pick up the air compressor with the airbrush, so I'll be able to start dyeing the interior. And I'm thinking I'll probably end up practicing on the seat I have out there. I have a bunch of seats. A lot of them are trashed, so they'll be good practice. You know, this kit is only about, I think, 80 or 90 bucks, and then I got a one year warranty for like 15, so around 100 bucks and like 10 bucks extra for some of these. So, you know, that's gonna come out really good, and I'm super stoked. And then to kind of update you, I don't think I've talked about this yet, but I did pick up another motor and that will be for that car so this is an m52 b28 it's a 2.8 liter inline six got a hell of a deal on it and to go with it i have a zf five speed so this is a manual and oops so this is a manual five speed these are known to hold a lot more power than the transmission that is in the white and the red car. Those are also five speeds, but they're a Getrag, which is a GM transmission. So the ZFs are known to hold more power. And what I've got going on here, new expansion tank, putting in an electric fan, got some hoses on there, uh, new crap there, some replacement hoses down there. So pretty much throw all this on. This car will be drivable. I just need to pick up some headlights. I'll throw it a... And let's see. I've got the interior taken apart right now. I'll probably end up pulling the dashboard sometime this weekend. That way I can start dyeing the carpet, start dyeing the dash, practice on the, you know, some shitty leather. That way those seats come out really good. You can see how it's kind of it's not really cracking, it kind of is, but basically from what I've been researching is this is just the die cracking. So what I can do is sand it down and uh, re-dye it and that'll come out really good. Looks like it's about to rain, but that shouldn't be too big of a deal. So I just wanted to update you guys. You can see here I picked up a, a cherry picker or an engine hoist, so that'll definitely be able to start doing these swaps and I can also install some headers on the E46 that's gonna be really nice it's gonna sound way better and unlock some power because I think I have a clogged cat on that car it's not clogged enough to where I can't drive it
but the way the power is so hit or miss, I really think something's going on because everything on it's brand new. So I know it's nothing maintenance related. So it's got to be the cats or just something silly. So that'll get done here pretty soon. Again, this is the first M52 I'm picking up. And let me turn the light on. And I've got another one. This one's got about 200,000 miles on it. So I'm thinking I'm going to rebuild this one. You can see it's not in bad shape. I'm going to have to pull the valve cover off and check that out. But uh, who you guys saw in that last welding video, he's got a 100,000 mile M52 B28. And he's giving me a killer deal on it. So I'm definitely going to pick that up. Hopefully next week, maybe the week after. He's not really in a big hurry, so neither am I. But likely that's going to be the motor that will go in purple car with the five-speed ZF. And I'm really stoked. And oh yeah, hopefully uh, the homie uh, Chris from Denver Beer and Oil, he might be coming down here to Florida. And if he does, I'll be super stoked. Man, I feel like I've been watching him for so long and to be able to meet him. And he's the one who's going to give me all the purple cars manual swap parts like the shifter linkage, the drive shaft, all that. So if he were to deliver it while he's picking up something down here, dude, that would just be like a dream. That'd be so mind blowing. But yeah, that's where I'm at. So what I'm gonna do now is finish putting a cooling fan on the red car and just start, you know, buttoning things up. I did find someone who sells temporary tags and supposedly I can buy two months worth of registration for like 70 bucks. So that's what I'm probably going to do. Because, you know, I have three of the cars plated and fully insured. But I'm getting ready to do that rust repair you saw in the welding video on the white car. And then after that's done, that one's definitely getting sold. And then I can focus on the purple, red, and E46. So I hope that kind of explains what's going on. So I'm going to go ahead and swap over to the other camera, maybe get a time lapse in here. You know, I just want to get a quick update out there. I am still doing this. I just, you know, it's like a long term thing for me. So I'm not going to stress getting multiple videos out a week when I just, you know, it's very demanding when I want to put all my energy into work. Once I get work under control, then I'll have a lot more time and money for, you know, projects and fun stuff. So thanks for watching if you've been watching this far, and I uh, really appreciate you. You know, it helps me out a lot on the statistics and just mentally when you comment and let me know what you're thinking or if you learned something or have a question or if there's something specific you want to see or learn more about. You know, definitely throw that in the comments. But I'm going to go ahead and swap over to a time lapse and get this stuff in. Alright, so to update you guys, it is the next day, the fan is in, I've got it wired in with the temperature probe, and there's a switch that I showed you, it's ran through there, into the cabin, so yeah, this thing can run and idle now, I mean, it's always, but I just didn't have any cooling system, because if you saw the previous videos when I first got it, it was missing the intake manifold, ran and drove just fine but I was missing the intake manifold. Uh, shout out to Chris, the Denver Beer and Oil. They mailed me one at a really good price. So now got that going and it ran. Got the front end getting ready to go back on and uh, yeah, onto the interior. So I'm gonna experiment with something new. You can see this is an airbrush kit. It's got a compressor, pressure gauge, all that. I got some extra things so I can quick change to other colors basically a bunch of these it's pretty interesting I've never used this before but uh, I was reading up on it and watching videos and stuff and it doesn't look very complicated one thing I noticed though it doesn't look like this kit is brand new looks like it's used look at that like this is literally brand new out of the box so that's kind of weird but uh oh well so yeah i'm gonna get this all hooked up 
maybe throw in a little time lapse of me practicing and let you guys know what I think. So stay tuned. So I got the carpet out. That was much more difficult than it usually is on the E34, but got it out. Uh, luckily, it's not in horrible, horrible shape. Got a hole right there in the staining, but you know I'm already gonna dye it black, so should be all right. So yeah, this is it. Before I do anything can see all the stains and yeah it's just it's trashed and smells bad so I'm gonna attempt to dye it if that doesn't work then I'll just buy a new carpet but we'll see you know I'll be able to steam clean it really well and then dye it black and maybe be able to salvage it but do you guys see what I see no rust no rust a bunch of dirt there were some spots, there's like some sticky shit right there. But it looked like this carpet had never been off before. Cause like on the edges and you can see right here, the carpet was actually sticking to the car. You know, on the E34, I literally just pulled it out. This was still uh, sticky, so that tells me it's never been out, which is good. You can see how clean it is under here is also very reassuring so yeah that's where we're at now I'm gonna vacuum clean it up so get a good look you can see how trashed that is I might just have to replace that but I don't know we'll see I'm pretty sure this comes off oh uh, actually no, up on the E34, it's like a leather, but on this E36, it's kind of like painted and textured on, so might have to just replace that, but yeah. Also got the seats out, Mr. Tux. I haven't been outside very much, because I've been, and uh, yeah, so I haven't been feeding him and whatnot, I can tell. <laughs> He definitely runs right over here as soon as he realizes I'm outside. But, yep, that's where I'm at. So now I'm going to go ahead and maybe throw a time lapse. But, actually, nah, you guys have seen me clean carpet before. I'll wait until I start dyeing it black, and then I'll throw a time lapse in. So, catch you in the next clip. 